Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand network layer services. In that, we, we will try to understand packetizing. So, this is our first video in network layer. So, the fourth section of this computer networks. Yeah, in the previous sections, we have discussed about physical layer and data link layer. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. Because this video is the continuation video for all the previous videos that we have discussed. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below let's try to understand what is meant by packetizing so uh, as we have discussed that every layer will have its own concerns of design in the same way the one of the network layer concern design concern is packetizing what is meant by packetizing packetizing is encapsulating the payload in the network in a network layer packet encapsulating the payload in a network layer packet at the source and decapsulating the payload from the network layer packet at the destination so what what is the concept of packetizing means it is same as that of framing so what it what it is going to do is what is the what is the objective of the uh, uh, packetizing in network layer is it is encapsulating the payload and de at the source and decapsulating the pay, uh, uh, payload at the destination so before that we will see how the actual communication happens in the real time so this is a, TP, a tcp ip uh, layer uh, uh, tcp ip protocol structure so there we are having uh, four layers uh, the uh, actually we have two different uh, network architectures one is uh, osa model and the other one is tcp ip as we have already discussed in the tcp ip we are having this uh, four layers whereas in the osa uh, reference model we are having seven layers so the seven layers means in the tcp ip the application session and presentation will be combined into application layer and uh, the data link layer and physical layer is getting combined into single layer called data link layer so the practically tcp ip is the implementation of osi model okay so now what happens what happens when the application has some message to send so what is meant by message means it is the data to be transmitted to the server uh, where the processing has to happen for example if you take google if you uh, uh, if you open google page and if you are trying to search for network uh, computer network scores so that is the keyword so that is the message that has to be transmitted to the google server for that search the response has be has to be responded back to the uh, client machine okay so the message is what we call it as so that is what in the application layer the message will get created the message uh, has to be transmitted and this message will get transmitted so in the source this is the source system so all we are going to discuss we are discussing here is the source system this is how the things will happen in the source system and this is the destination system so here the message uh, uh, has been generated and it, it will transmit to transport layer so the transport layer will have some design concerns and for those design concerns there will be some header fields as we have discussed about framing in the data link layer okay so the message that is transmitted from the application layer to the transport layer to that message a header will get added so we consider this as header 4 because this is a, a layer 5 and this is 4 3 2 and in this within this the physical layer is also there so we will consider this as the physical layer so this is the physical medium through which the data is getting transmitted so the header 4 will get attached to the message and next this this is what we call it as payload this is no more a message payload means it is the combination of actual message along with some header that is what we call it as payload so this payload will be transferred to the network layer so assigning the header assigning the header that is required for the network layer is what we call it as packetizing packetizing means encapsulating the payload so this is what we call it as payload this payload is getting encapsulated in the network layer packet in the network layer packet at the source at the source so what we call it as this is what we call it as packetizing message 
along with header 4 so this this complete is what we call it as payload to this payload if you try to attach the packet of network layer packet means the header of the network layer so this complete payload along with the header of the network layer is what we call it as packet try to get that in the data link layer we called it as frame whereas in the network layer we call this this entire uh, uh, mess payload is what we call it as packet okay now this payload will get transferred to this is what we call it as packetizing okay so this payload is now transferred to data link layer so at the data link layer what happens the same payload sorry okay we will divide it now message along with header 4 along with header 3 this packet now it will get converted into a frame so what happens is the header that is header and tail so it is having header and tail so the header of the data link layer will get sorry header for the data link layer and this is tail so try to remember the frame that we have discussed in the data link layer so this entire thing is what we call it as payload now it is it will get transferred into the physical layer in the form of raw bits there the manchester encoding or uh, the, the different encoding techniques that we have seen so based upon those encoding techniques this this data in the sense it is not data actually it is payload for convenience we will consider it as data okay so this data will get transmitted into the physical wire if it is a wireless network means it is wireless medium so into the physical wire we it will get transmitted and again it will get received at the receiver so uh, the data will get received at the receiver so what happens at the receiver that is very important decapsulating happens and the decapsulated header uh, so the decapsulated payload will be transferred to its upper layer okay the services will be provided to its upper layer okay so now what happens at the data link layer uh, uh, first the uh, data will get received it is uh, uh, t2 along with uh, uh, message h3 and uh, h4 h3 and h2 okay the data has been received so this is how uh, the things will get received at the data link layer now this h2 and h sorry t2 and h2 will be removed it is what we call it as decapsulated and it will be transferred to the network layer what the network layer will receive it is message along with header 3 along with sorry header 4 and along with header 3 now the next part of the definition decapsulating the payload from the network layer packet at the destination this entire process is what we call it as packetizing okay so now we have to decapsulate the header of the network layer and this part will be again transmitted to the its upper layer which is transport layer so the concepts of transport layer we will discuss in the next section so in this course we are going to discuss about all about this header and what are the different types of algorithms different types of protocols that are involved that are the concerns for the design of for the objective of network layer okay so now this message will be transmitted to the application layer so now the application will layer will take the request and it will process again now it this will act as a source and the same procedure repeats and it will be transmitted to, transmitted to the destination okay so what this header consists of what this uh, header consists of so it is a very big header a very big header so the main parts we will try to understand we'll just try to uh, take that uh, uh, terminology so what this header the main part is it is source address and the next one is destination address to uh, to a certain level to uh, to a particular number of videos we will consider that the header is having only source address and destination address so those addresses are called as ip addresses internet protocol address addresses so you may have heard of this term called ip address so whenever we go for a, a, a network connection there they will say that what is if you have any problems in the network they will ask for the ip address so that ip address 
is uh, a source the source will have every system every connection not actually system it is connection every logical connection the network connection that is getting connected into the into the computer that will have an address so that is what we call it as uh, ip address if it is the if it is considered as the if the system is considered as a source it is called as source address if the system is considered as destination it is considered as destination address so if you are speaking the content with respect to, to this system this is the source and this is the destination in 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 response to the request this is considered as source system and this is considered as destination system okay so uh, the the main part the main part of the uh, header uh, network layer network uh, uh, layer header is source address and destination address so this that is what we call it as packetizing hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching